Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Auto Freeway. I hope you had a wonderful New Year's and that this year, 2020, brings everything that you want, all your dreams, at least one. Uh, and if not, at least you get closer to them, whatever that may be, a new job, a new car, a new house, whatever that may be, I hope you get closer to it. I know that this year I will be working hard uh, in order to make this channel a success and hopefully give the first car away in 2020. You know, sooner or later, I hope. In this episode, I get to drink some coffee. I'll spend a few hours on YouTube and I'll tell you a secret. So stick around, all right? So Jay, yeah, guys, it's about 8 a.m. on a Sunday morning and I'm going to my first ever Cars and Coffee, which is hosted by a dealership, Porsche dealership here in Fort Myers. I'm not sure what to expect, obviously cars and maybe coffee, but I'm bringing my own blend, which is uh, two shots of espresso, 100% Arabica bean, and complemented by dark chocolate almond milk. If you haven't tried it, give it a try because it's very good. At least I like it. So as I said, I don't know what to expect. Um, I think that most of the people that show up actually have Porsches. However, the invitation says any car, any make is welcome to show up. So, you know, that's that's what I'll do. And, uh, and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm excited to see uh, how many people show up, especially on a Sunday morning, the first morning, I mean, the first Sunday of uh, 2020. So, yeah, I'll see you there. Hey guys, so I finally made it to Cars and Meat here in uh, Porsche uh, for Myers. I'm trying to look for the logo. I think the dealership is back there. So it's actually a good turnout. There is the uh, AMG next to obviously uh, Porsche. I think that the majority of the cars here are Porsches. Uh, I'm not sure which one is this one, but it looks very cool. Uh, and it says in the front, you are already dead, whatever that means. And, and right behind me, we have a bunch of uh, chargers. That's a charger collection. And then an oldie back here. This is a 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner. Obviously it has been uh, much Simple, there, road runner, very nice. And as I said, a bunch of uh, chargers, or challengers. This is a, this is another oldie, it's a Pontiac Trans Am. It's a Firebird, right? And seen this one since my college days. <laughs> very nice. And over here we have. Audi R8 or R10, and tell from here. Sorry. Right. A couple of Corvettes. And oh, there's a Tesla. Funky looking Tesla. <laughs> With a wrap, I guess. A Porsche. NSX. Thank. Honda? I guess a lot of people Yep. That's an oldie one also. Take a look at it around. It's pretty nice. Very well kept. I like the new one. The new one looks just sick. This one is not bad too. And then a Nissan GTR. And that almost has as much horsepower as my car. But I'm not sure. I don't know what this is. A Mook. It's like a golf car. And a Porsche 911 Carrera. For us. And another black store. Literally. But far none, my favorite one is right here. It looks sick. Even though there's a lot of controversy regarding the color combination or even the color but again that can come up at any time. I'm curious about the one that I'm parked next
lines too. I don't know, I know it's a Porsche, but I don't know what kind. It just says, oh, it's a Cayman. Okay. Cayman Porsche. Okay, it looks pretty nice. Look at the uh, gas tank. Not the gas tank, but the lid to the gas tank. Okay. It's very nice. But then again, I really have this one. Another VW, another VW, and as I said, the uh, Tesla Model X. So, yes, a small world. I just had a follower of Mike from Autoblog come up to the car and actually ask me, Is this Mike's former AMG? I said, Yep, that's, that's what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, I told him to subscribe to my channel. Obviously, continue following auto blogs, but to you know to, to subscribe to my channel, Auto Freeway. So you know we need more subscribers, more views, and all of that. I'll be talking more about that later in the video about some of the um, encouraging news and discouraging news regarding the channel and YouTube overall. So yeah, a few more cars uh, pulling in. We have the uh, Dodge Ram RT, beautiful pickup truck. Red, black accents, and then a uh, Corvette. Uh, which one is this one? Oh, the Z06. So that's a beast. Very nice color combination with the orange and black convertible. With the rims, very nice. That's the car that I almost got before I moved back to the US. But once I spec'd it out, it just became too, too expensive for a Corvette, I think. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice car. If you are authorized to be on the property, please. That's most likely a Portofino, but I'm not sure. So I'll take a look around in the back. And this is the uh, Audi. This is what? The R8. And this is, can't tell, I don't know, is it a Portofino or an F12, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Oh, F12, so it is an F12. So it's the same thing as mine. Uh, but this one is a 2019. So beautiful. Yeah. Ferrari Red. Probably the most exotic that we have here in the lot, and most likely also the most expensive. This is a 285 to maybe 300,000 for our car. A Camaro, orange Camaro, pulling up. I keep thinking that that may be, we can find a good price. That may be the first car that we give away. Obviously, that's what the subscriber that wins it wants it. But I'm thinking that a nicely equipped, basically, or basic uh, Camaro can be within the price range that we were talking about initially. You know, somewhere in the you know thirty-five thousand dollars or so. Well guys, I hope you liked the uh, visit to Cars and Coffee and the cars that were on display here or that are on display. Uh, it's almost 9.30 in the morning. I think I had enough. It's very cold for me, for Florida standards. I think it's dropped back to 50 or so and it's windy. So I'm about to head out and uh, I'll catch you later. So, as you can see, I'm continuing this video inside my house. Behind me is the uh, ball of uh, golf memorabilia. So, yeah, I have spent the last uh, few days, I haven't posted a video in a, in a while, maybe a week or so, because I have spent the last few days going over many videos on YouTube from um, successful YouTubers, basically giving you hints as to how to become successful in YouTube. So they're all over the place. So I looked at, you know, how to become monetized, how long will it take? You know, if you have a video that has one million views, we're way off from that. 
um, you know, how much can you get, the length of the videos, uh, how many videos to post uh, per week. So as I said, they're all over the place. A couple of common denominators is at least two videos uh, per week and the length should be anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes. And there's a reason behind that I learned, you know, if you have at least 10 minutes, that means you can have at least, once you become monetized, two uh, commercials in your video. That's basically what makes the money for your channel, you know, for the channel. So at least, as I said, two videos per week and 10 to 20 minutes uh, per video. Uh, the length of the video. I watch one of the, I think it's the most successful uh, YouTuber. Um, I think he goes by, well, he goes by the alias of Mr. Beast. I don't know his real name, uh, but he has become extremely successful. He has like 20 plus million viewers. And anytime, at least what I've seen so far, anytime that he posts a video, 10 million, 15 million, 20 million people watch the video and these are silly videos for the most part but one redeeming part about what he does you know i i you know, learned that he makes anywhere from six hundred thousand to a million dollars per month but one redeeming factor is that apparently he gives some of that money away uh to hopefully people that need it the video that i saw was you know he rented a former bank and then he brought money in and people in and he gave loans for free, basically no loans, he gave just money away. Uh, so, you know, it was interesting, again, a silly video, uh, but he got, I don't know how many gazillion viewers uh, viewing that video. So yeah, so two videos, 10 to 20 minutes per video. Um, and that's how, you know, I, I'm, and by the way, it took him apparently five years of posting videos you know, consistently before, you know, he became uh, that successful. So the idea, I will try to do, you know, two videos per week, uh, 10 to 20 minutes. But one thing though, I went over the statistics of the channel, which are available on obviously the page for my channel. Um, you know, the number of subscribers is growing up. Thanks. We have about 3,300. Big thanks again to Mike from Autoblog. 99% of the uh, subscribers are coming from his channel or have come from his channel and they keep coming in on a daily basis, basically one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Uh, so again, big thanks to him. So we have about 3,300 subscribers and about one eighth of the time viewed on um, videos. We, have a, we need at least 4,000 hours within a one year period and we have about 550 or so. So there are about one eighth of, um, of the total that we need, which is, you know, the 4,000 hours. So slowly but surely, if we keep on this pace, you know, it may be another six, seven to eight months uh, before we get to the 4,000 hours. Obviously the more subscribers and the more time that is spent viewing the videos, you know, the sooner we're gonna catch up to the 4,000 hours. Uh, one interesting piece of information too, as, as you can see, is that the average length of time that people are watching the videos is about two and a half minutes. You know, the video can be, my videos have been anywhere from four or five minutes to 10, and the, the last one, uh, episode 10, I think it was like 20 minutes or so, but people are spending only about two and a half minutes uh, watching that video. So either a video is too long, too boring, I don't know what it is, you know, comment below, let me know uh, how to make it more dynamic, if you wish, or more relevant information. Uh, today, uh, I will start reviewing the cars that I mentioned before, the 2020 best cars according to cars and uh, car and driver. So uh, I will start today with one of them. I will post the video in a couple of days or so. So that's, that's the plan, you know, to catch up with those 10 best cars uh, rated by Car and Driver uh, for 2020. So I'll start with one today. So that's the secret. If you wanna get a car, you have to subscribe. You have to like the video, share the video. I found out that you can share the video to your friends via messaging, messenger, 
uh, iMessage, whatever other means um, you have access to, but you can share the video and then that will bring hopefully more viewers, more subscribers, and you know the, the channel can become uh, successful in a shorter period of time. So yeah, that's the secret. If you were waiting for the secret, that's the secret. Subscribe to this channel, make it successful, and you know let's start giving cards away. All right. So until the next one, I'll see you. Peace.